wear these boxing gloves, especially since these... Combatives has been an official part of Army training since January 2002. Most units, however, do not often train beyond the basics. The 2nd Brigade Combat Team Headquarters and Headquarters Company, or HHC, is taking their combatives training to the next level. Specialist Shane Clark, one of the HHC unit level combatives instructors, tells more about the integrated training they are providing for the soldiers. Uh, right now we got three stations set up. The first one's working on um, stand up for a fight. It's working on um, the five combos and the combatives. The second station is going to be rifle techniques. Talking um, if someone's trying to get your weapon or disarm you, or if someone has a weapon, how to disarm them and use your weapon without having to use lethal force. Just get them back with like a muzzle thump or a strike like that. And the third one's just um, rolling for submissions. Grappling, the basic form of combatives, only applies to unarmed scenarios. This form is essential to learn because it's the groundwork for more advanced methods applied in combat situations. Staff Sergeant George Freeman, the 2nd Brigade Tasking NCO, hopes HHC will set the example for other units to elevate their combatives training beyond grappling. Staff Sergeant Freeman is also the Brigade Combatives Manager. He had this to say regarding the elevated combatives training. Uh, we're incorporating techniques from level one and level two as an introduction uh, to our soldiers in, a, in the company. Hopefully we can go uh, battalion-wide with the whole program. Uh, it all is, is combatives, but it's taking it to a level that most units don't take it to. We're taking it outside the box. We're working a little further than uh, you normally would. Reporting for the 2nd Brigade Combat Team, I'm Sergeant Stephen Dornboss. <laughs>